Hi guys! Oh my gosh, I don't know why. My house is so cold. Yes, I do. The AC is on. That will do it. Good morning, everyone. I'm excited to vlog again today. I have been filming so many videos. I just finished an anti-anxiety morning routine, which is what I do to just kind of make sure I'm taking care of myself in the best possible way so that I'm not like vulnerable to just kind of going into my like anxious patterns. Does that make sense? Today is exciting. I'm getting lunch with Michelle. Coco's going to the groomer. Um, I just have like errands to do. I need to, I have therapy actually at 11.30 and at 11 I want to drop off some film just down the street and then come back here. So my therapy appointment is on FaceTime. I've been reading Change Your Brain, Change Your Life and it is like unreal. I just filmed here for the other video. Um, there was something I wanted to share with you guys today but this book Change Your Brain, Change Your Life is so good and then it's also talking about like conflicts in relationships. Imaging changes everything in relationships. Understanding is the brain pattern that interfere with intimacy. So that was really interesting to read and like ways that you can fix that. And then also, I just read the chapter on different um, types of anxiety and depression. So there's seven types. Oh my gosh, okay, this is, this is what I wanted to read to you guys. It's so crazy because I believe that I am, the, okay, I'm the cyclical anxiety and depression. I'm gonna read this to you guys. I don't know if any of you guys find this like interesting, but I personally find it so interesting. So I shared that I was diagnosed with PMDD in like March, I wanna say? The beginning of COVID, so March, April-ish. PMDD is premenstrual dysphoric disorder, so like the week before your period, basically all of your emotions are like extremely heightened, like not to the point where it's like, oh, I'm on my period, like to a new, new, new level. I know I'm talking about mental health a lot lately, and I just think it's important, but but I never want to be someone who like finds my identity in that or like uses it as a crutch or anything like that. I do think it's important to like know when I'm in a better space, especially when I'm learning all about this so that I don't have to like kind of go back to that. Not that I don't have to because you can't necessarily like control it. That's the whole point, which sucks. But for me personally, if I'm in a healthier mindset and I'm taking care of myself like physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, in all those ways, I'm gonna go on then I'm less likely to have a worse episode. So this is type six, cyclical anxiety and depression. Likely the issue with this type is also low levels of GABA, but it might also be too much of an excretory chemical called glutamate. Okay, as the name of this implies, the type is associated with cycles of anxiety and depression. It includes bipolar disorder, um, cyclothemia, milder mood swings, seasonal mood changes, severe PMS called PMDD. And it's so interesting that those are all loops together in the same one because I'm always like, I don't know why I have like such highs and lows, like it all kind of fits together. I'm gonna skip through. Scans tend to vary with the phase of the illness. For example, when someone is in a manic phase of a bipolar illness, there is overall increased activity throughout the brain. When the same person is depressed, there's less overall activity. Similarly, a woman with PMDD may show problems in her brain during the worst time of her cycle, but not at other times. I literally cannot tell today. Cyclical anxiety and depression can also get worse around other times of significant hormonal shifts. Um, it's a spectrum disorder, meaning some people have it way worse and some people have it way less. And then it like tells you how to treat it and all that stuff. I started taking my supplements today. Someone commented and they were like, is it true that all he does is promote his supplements in this book? And like literally not at all. There's so much information. I like that he has the supplements that he's talking about because I'm like, oh, I want to buy them. But I never got that vibe at all and I've learned so much. I actually started my supplements today. So I will update you guys. Obviously, I just started them today. So like, I don't know if they're working or not. But I did try GABA, GABA, GABA. I can't even remember what it is. The calming support one. And I have taken that the past two nights because I was just feeling a little bit like more anxious and kind of like overthinking and all that stuff. And it really helped. Also, when you read about this with relationships and like different brain types and how that affects different relationships and even like what they'll say when they don't realize what's going on. It is so crazy. I'm like, that is so perfect, literally. Anyways, I need to post a video and another TikTok, everyone. And then I'm actually gonna head out in a few minutes because I'm going to drop off some film before my therapy appointment. Then after that, taking Coco to get groomed. And then I'm taking, then I'm going to meet Michelle at lunch. So I go to Photography, Photographique in Dallas. Um, I had some film to pick up. And then I had some to drop off. I thought I had an actual roll of film and I guess I don't. I don't know where I got that from. But this stuff has been scanned and sent to me like months ago. Aw, that's cute. That's cute. I'm going to give these to Q because it's from his 24th birthday. 24th? 21st. 25th birthday. 
This is like my favorite photo, literally ever. Okay, so we're gonna put these back. I'm currently going through the photos and deciding which ones I want in my room because, oh, my little brother, he's so sweet. Look at how miserable he looks in this photo. Oh, wow, okay. So mainly cousin pics, cues in them, family pics. I think that's what we have and then I made a little um, container for him. Just got off my therapy session. I cried, so that's why my eyes are red. But um, we are going to drop little Coco off at the groomers. Her her um, cone is off finally. She looks a little bit crazy. Unfortunately, her leg, you know. She just looks, um, you know, she needs a bath, you know? All right, guys, here's Coco's before. I mean, you guys already really saw it. Mask on, everyone. It's really hard when you're wearing hoops to put mask on sometimes, like when your hair is back especially, I don't know. Hello, everyone. I am on my way. I just dropped Coco off. She actually wasn't even that mad at me, so even she knew she needed a bath. Anyways, I'm going with, oh my gosh, I was about to say Michelle Reed, but she's married now. Anyways, if you guys don't watch Michelle on YouTube, her YouTube is still Michelle Reed right now, I think. I'm pretty positive she said she's keeping it, but I love her vlog. She's also in Dallas. We've been friends for like a long time, but she's been living in New York while I was living in LA. Okay, um, we like met through YouTube and stuff. I'm sure a lot of you guys watch her. We honestly make very similar videos. So if you guys don't watch her channel, I will have it linked down below, but I'm sure like you all do, so. Okay, what is happening here? I need to get my oil changed so bad, guys. It's like kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Here at lunch, I was just making a TikTok, don't With mind the me. Dallas queen. TikTok queens here, both of us. We're working on it, guys. Um, maybe one day. Yeah, maybe one day. We got this from Tacos, they look bomb. Guys, Coco looks so cute. Oh, okay. First off, love what you're doing there with the bandana girl. Looking so cute. Second, so soft, love the blowout. She's not even looking at me. What I don't like though, Coco, come here. She's like actually just mad at me, so she doesn't care what I don't like, but Coco, come here. Okay, so I don't like when they give her like more of a Yorkie cut. Like I like when this is shorter and I feel like I communicate this, but clearly I'm not communicating right because it never happens, but I don't like the Yorkie when this is longer. I like it very round. All right guys, so Michelle and I were just sitting there for like two hours, it was so fun. I had to leave to get young Coco. What are you doing, girl? You can get that, you, okay. We just, oh, look at the picture we just sent. She's so cute. Hey, mom, just some fun packages. One is from Princess Polly. I'm gonna do an entire haul in tomorrow's vlog with them. It seems to be jealous of Coco's grooming. If you guys are shopping on Princess Polly, I'm sure a lot of you guys are. I have, I think it's Kinsey 20. For 20% off. I'll have it linked down below because I know a lot of you guys just regularly shop from there. But I'm gonna go through the clothes, get them ready for tomorrow's haul. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this right now because I feel like this is one of those things that's just dire. Okay, so these jeans from Princess Polly, they're so cute, right? This like asymmetrical kind of button um, waisting is like really in right now. It used to be only like Revolve had these, so like Girlfriend Denim, I know Goldie had them, um, and they were really expensive, but these are only $60, the other ones were like 300 But they sell out on Princess Polly pretty quickly from what I've gathered, because I've tried to go on and buy them myself, but luckily they were back in stock when I was getting gifting for this video, so. All right, I already changed into this set just because it's really cozy. Um, it is 3.30, I think Q wanted me to come over. At uh, like five something. I'm honestly hungry because our tacos were like legit two tacos. Michelle and I were like, wait, we need more food. I'm gonna bring my computer up. I wanna start editing. And then when I come back from cues, I'm gonna have like a full edit night. I'm really excited for that. I'm just like so fulfilled job wise. I was talking to Michelle and we were just talking about how much we like love our followers. And I just like love posting all the time because I feel so much more connected to you guys. And like, we're just like really going through it together, you know? I'm not sure what we're going through, but we're doing it together, so. Anyways, this set is Princess Polly. All right, guys, I have another big box from Health Aid. I feel like I kind of have a headache from my hair being up. I already have so much Health Aid in my fridge because they sent me some and I bought some and then, oh, they just sent me more, okay. Oh, wait, I think they gave me more Health Aid Plus.
I am stocked on kombucha for like the rest of my life. I'm actually gonna take some of these to Q's um, and put them in his fridge. I still have two there, but oh my gosh. Also, I got Dr. Amon's next book. This is his most recent book, The End of Mental Health or Mental Illness, which I'm really excited to finish the other book. I'm actually getting pretty close. And I'm excited to read this one. It's pretty big, but it's just so interesting. You start reading, and then you just can't stop because it's so good. That is my next read. Um, I, by the way, these are the only kind of books that I get like physically, just because it's really easy for me to like take notes and look back and all that stuff. Honestly, even with other nonfiction books, I always get them on my Kindle. But I just wanted these two physically because I also want to like give them to people. All right, so I have this in the fridge. This is why this comes in handy. These are clothes that I, God forbid, I just bring upstairs. I pass them every single time. Does everyone else do that too? I just, right now I have a valid reason. Most of the time I don't. Guys, listen. I was in bed. I was laying on bed. All right, guys, listen. It's 4.30. I laid in bed because I was really tired. And sometimes during my midday slumps, it's better for me to just lay in bed and that will actually get a lot of work done on my laptop. I don't know how that works out, but it normally does. And I'm just so tired, I cannot be bothered. I have about three videos to edit right now. I'm posting daily on accident, honestly. I'm also craving like ramen or velvet taco. And I'm not proud of that. I think tonight I'm actually, maybe when I get home, we'll just like watch a movie or I don't know. So this is a video I wish I would have done when I first lived alone. I think I was 19 when I got my first apartment by myself. I moved out a little bit early. I personally love living alone. I also loved having roommates. I love living alone. I think it's really great to also go through periods where you have roommates. I went back and forth. I also loved having roommates. It was super fun. Not that you have to do either or, but living with roommates is great because you kind of learn how to like deal with other people and like coexisting, also not being so crazy. I just think living with your roommates teaches you a lot. Obviously, there's a lot of disaster stories, but living by yourself, you just learn so much about yourself. And I know that sounds very cheesy, but if you live on your own, I feel like you can relate. I'm someone who actually really loves spending time alone. I find that when I'm in a weirder headspace for some reason, I typically am like, I can like fear being alone, but that's just like not me. By yourself is really great because you get to do like your own routines, not affected by anyone. Obviously, no one else is making messes that you need to clean up after. No one's like moving your stuff, messing with your stuff, whatever. I was never someone that was really bothered by that. I grew up with like eight siblings, so like I was never bothered by that. Reflection, personal growth time, which I really love. And I think it's really healthy to be able to spend a lot of time by yourself and to not be afraid of spending time by yourself, which I feel like obviously this pandemic has taken it to a whole new level. I don't think isolation is great, but I think like spending time by yourself is really good. This is how I spend my time alone. I'm just sharing a few things. I know Brooke has done vlogs on this and she's a great person to watch as well for that. I just have picked up like hobbies. So it's fun to spend time by myself. Like I look forward to getting home every single night if I'm out with people because I get to do my night routine. I get to read. I love just being by myself. I love in the morning, like I put on like the news or whatever I watch. Like by news, I mean like podcasts. <laughs> I picked up hobbies. I would definitely recommend that. So cooking obviously is a really big one. Reading is a really big one. You know me, I'm like a self-growth person. So I'm always listening to podcasts, reading nonfiction type books. I really like journaling. I've definitely held off on reading a lot of nonfiction this like this year. I'm back to it now, but during like the heat of the pandemic and COVID of this year, not that we're not in it anymore, but um, when it was like worse earlier on this year, I didn't want to read any nonfiction books. I was like, I just want to read fiction. I want like a nice escape, whatever. Um, so just reading a lot has been really good. I've been back on my nonfiction stuff. Um, I cannot stress enough how important it is to just like being by yourself and also love who you're becoming oh, just wanted to like talk about that a little bit comment down below i'm really curious like where are you guys living right now i'm sure a lot of you guys are living at home which is what i would have done 100 percent had i not like gotten this place right before covid like if i came from la i would just be back home right now um are you guys back at school in your apartments are you i know some people are doing that are you living with roommates do you live by yourself like i'm really curious so another thing do you guys like when i do giveaways and vlogs we recently did the kill it eyes one and also i want to do some like jewelry giveaways maybe and things like that like if i were to do giveaways and vlogs what would you guys want to see something else i wanted to say i just remembered um living alone makes you place like a greater importance on friendships or at least it has for me 
Um, I feel like you can live alone and like isolate yourself and you know not really do much with the time or the space But it just depends on the person It's great depending on where you're living and COVID and all the like guidelines and stuff But if you can go grab lunch or coffee with a friend when you're just spending the whole day by yourself at home That really makes the world of difference like it may not even seem like it's that big of a deal But if I go in the morning and I get like coffee and I go on a walk with a friend or like today I got um, lunch with Michelle. My Anyways, that's a really good thing too. I can do an entire video of advice on living on your own if you guys are interested in that. It is now 7.30. I'm back home. I went to Q's for a little bit. Out of breath. Okay. So a few days ago when I recorded with the founders of Boys Lie, I said, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have a set coming in today. It went to the wrong address, and then I finally figured out whose address it went to, and then my neighbors gave it back to me. I am happier. What? <gasps> Wow, it is so cute. We have in the back this and then let me show you the front the front. Oh got another Boys lie hand sanitizer keep those in my car. Okay, and then I got medium bottoms And it's cool because it says it like On the crotch area. I've never had anything that says it on the crotch area, but I am just so excited to wear these. Like, it's really not warm enough yet to wear this. But I think I might just have to make do, you know? <sighs> Guys, I am so dehydrated. Okay, there's an apple pie flavor of liquid IV. I don't know how I feel about this. The watermelon tastes like Jolly Ranchers. I'll link below my faves, but we're gonna try this. I feel very dehydrated, so I need some water. Here's an apple pie taste test. It actually tastes good, not gonna lie. <laughs> not all the way mixed. My personal faves are the lemon lime and then the passion fruit and then of course the energy one which is just lemon lime but those are my faves. Alright guys so that is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm really tired. It's 8.42 but for some reason I have the urge to like edit a vlog and then hopefully I'm in bed sleeping by like 10.30 but love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.